Hi everyone, it's Jen here from Texo. In today's video, I'll show you how to use output modes in Texo. When you run your automations and workflows, there are three different output modes to choose from. Append, Split and Overwrite. Let's explore each mode to understand how they work. First, we can head over to Automation Store pick up any automation that we want to use. For example, I will do people search export, enter our input. In this case, I will search for CTOs. I will, I want to have three results. I navigate over to the output mode. And here I can see all three modes. So. First, the default mode is the append mode. The append mode is perfect if you plan to run an automation multiple times and want all of your results consolidated into a single file. I will go ahead and run this automation. As you can see, my automation has started running. And while it is running, I will actually go ahead and set up another input for that automation so that we can see how the results are appended. So I will go ahead and instead of CTO, I will put CEO that I want to search for um, this time. I will wait for my second automation to complete its execution. And then I will head over to see the results. I can either see them here or I can head over to the data store to see my data. I prefer using the data store because everything is nicely put together. Now, in order to see the results from my uh, two automations that I run, one for the CTO search and one for the CEO search, I will click on see data. And here, as you can see, my first automation was for a search for three CEOs and then the second search was for three CTOs. So all of my results are appearing all together in the same file. If I want, I can download this file as CSV or open it in Google Sheets as well. Let's go ahead and open it and here it is. All the results are appended all in a single file. This mode is useful when you want to keep a continuous record in one file. When you download the results, you will receive everything in a single CSV file or Google Sheet. Next, we want to look at the split mode. Let's use the same automation just so that we can see how it works and the difference. Again, I will search for CTO. Again, I will do three results on their output mode. This time I will use the split output mode. The split mode creates a new file for each run of an automation, which is great for when you need to keep results separate for each input. So let's see it in action. I will start this automation and run it. I will do it again so that we can see how it works. I will enter CEO this time. Select the output mode. Again, split. Run the automation another time. Wait for it to execute and head over to the data store to see the data. It might take a while. As you can see, the automation is still running here. Now it's showing completed under the status and let's go and have a look at the data.
here, you can see both the executions that I've had. Number one is my first execution. That is my CTO search. And then I can see result number two, which is my next search, the CEO search. Now, in this case, if I click on download CSV, you will see that each result can be separately downloaded independently from each other. So I am on the CEO result. I download it. And I can only see the second execution results for the CEO. And this was the split mode. Next, we can look at the overwrite mode. Overwrite is used when you need to update data with the most recent results, discarding the old data each time you run the automation. In this instance, again, I will choose to run the same automation just so that we can see the difference between the different modes. Choose single input. First, I will choose CEO. For example, if I want to um, target CEOs, I choose under output overwrite from the automation. It takes a little bit of time and while it is running, I will set up my second rerun automation. So in this case, I will search for CTO. For example, if I think that CEOs would not really be bothered with that type of content that I want to send them. I select again overwrite under the output and I click run. I can see that my second automation is set up again as well. And what I will do is I will head over to the data store and wait for my results to be ready. As you can see, the automation is right now still running. I would click on see data. And here, as you can see, my first result is not even displayed here. So I only can see the CTO, which was my second search. Again, if I download the CSV, that file will not contain any of the first run results. So any of the results for CEO will not be included here because I have selected the overrun output. You can see only the CEO is in, CTO pardon, is included here. Next, I want to tell you one more thing about the output. The deduplicate option. What it does is it removes any duplicate rows from your extractions. So each extraction, if you have any duplicate results, those will be automatically removed while your automation is running and you will see the results directly after the deduplication. This is a time saver because it eliminates the need to manually clean up all of your data files after you have run your automations. And that's it. Using different output modes in Texo helps you manage and organize your automation results more effectively. Experiment with those options to find what best suits your workflow needs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.